Hey folks, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Phone Central. I'm going to give you a quick tour here of Baconet version 2.5, optimized for Windows Phone 8. Should be hitting the Windows Phone store within the next few days. As you can see here, I got a nice little double wide tile showing my cake day, comment karma, link karma, and of course, if I have any notifications. The tile, of course, is fully adjustable with the three new sizes with Windows Phone 8, but this one now brings the double wide, which is pretty convenient. Also, now when you watch it, as you can see, I go right back into whatever subreddit I was in before, which is really convenient. This is the whole rapid resume type feature. And so it's going to make, uh, you know, browsing your reddits, I think, a lot easier. Uh, and for a lot of people, it's a pretty cool option. Also, if you go into an image and bring it up, you'll see there's uh, some new options for sharing. So we'll go here and we'll do uh, tap to send. And let's see if it can actually work. And it did. I get the little receive content and I'm going to hit accept. And there we go. So, uh, you know, that's a really great feature, I think, for a lot of people, especially since God knows everybody wants to share everything on Reddit as it is. Uh, the app has also been tremendously optimized for speed, better animations, higher resolution graphics. So it looks really good on uh, all resolution type devices now. And when you go back out into settings, this is a pretty nice feature here, uh, live tiles and lock screen. And so now you can have it choose uh, what <laughs> it's going to show on your lock screen. It could bring up images from Reddit, basically. So if I turn that back on, that's an image from um, Mildly Interesting. That's actually a subreddit. And you can kind of go through and you can actually pick the subreddit here. Um, and it's kind of, it works kind of well. I think any limitations here is, of course, limited to the API. But if your subreddit obviously doesn't have uh, any images, it's just going to default to whatever default picture you have for Windows Phone. And you have to be careful here. Obviously, you don't want WTF to show up uh, as your lock screen image. Uh, or maybe you do. I don't know. For me, it was a little awkward when I first turned my phone and I had some images pop up there. Uh, you can also choose... Um, how often it updates right here, which is kind of nice. You can have it doing 30 minutes, um, two hours, five, 12 hours, or once a day. And it'll do that over Wi-Fi. If we go into the lock screen settings here, you can also see uh, you can show notifications from Baconet right on your lock screen. So if you're going to be getting uh, any notifications and all that kind of things, you can, you know, see that right there. So for, I know many of you guys, that's going to be a really popular thing. Overall though, the performance has been really good. There's some social network sharing options in here too now. And, you know, overall the performance uh, works very well, especially when we do uh, looking into images and how it browses through. It's extremely fast and zippy. So look for this in the Windows Phone store within the next few days. Like I said, it's just been submitted to the marketplace and it should be out really soon. So that's baking at version 2.5. Head to Windows Phone Central for more information. Take care, everybody.